Welcome to part 15 of the Mini Golf Marble Machine build. In this video, I'm going to work on the left side of the machine because that area is so unfinished. From running the machine so much, there's been only one small problem area. On a few very infrequent occasions, a marble has rolled back into the wheel and fell down underneath it. To remedy that situation, I built a small basin to catch the marble if it were to ever happen. In the next video, you'll see how I built the front edge to the catch basin so they don't roll away like they do here. I then add a wall to the open side of the hole and put in a few crumples of paper to build up the ground level. Next, I work on the gap in between the water wheel and the lift, and then add some plaster paper to the open areas. There's going to be a solid wall as a barrier to the side, so I build up the plaster paper supports in preparation. To make the side wall, I took one large piece of wood and slowly cut it down. I first marked it conservatively to get a rough shape. Then I marked it and cut it more precisely. There will be an opening in the bottom to access the power input. In order for the wall to be secure, I built in a few pieces that would make attaching it easy. I also added a piece to secure the power input plug.
When it was finally ready, I glued in the wall and clamped it down. While the glue was drying, I worked on the landscaping that would go all the way to the top edge of the wall, using the same techniques as earlier. And that's it for this video. It's nice to see some of the ugly underside disappear. In the next video, I'll be working on the walls and landscaping for the front and right sides, and finally start painting the landscaping. <laughs>